It's time to pick your pet. We have Sherry Wachter joining us this morning, but more importantly, who's this guy? This is Brendan. He is adorable. He's 10 weeks old, oh my gosh. so full of puppy energy. And I have to remind everybody, these little puppies, they have little sharp teeth. So uh, lots of chew toys. He sees himself in the camera. He's getting excited. <laughs> Maybe a friend to play with. Um, you asked the question, how big? Well, that's like the million dollar question. Um, 10 weeks old, a lot of growing to do. My guess is probably 60 or 70 pounds when he's full grown. He is cute. He's by himself. I think his siblings have gotten adopted. He smells crumbs in the blanket. That's why he's sniffing so hard. <laughs> um, happy boy. The tail has not stopped wagging. He's been nonstop. So what, what kind of breed do you think um, he is? Maybe like lab, bully breed mix. It's really hard to tell. What we do know is he's cute. He's playful. He wants to chew his leash. So again, I would suggest lots of strong, durable chew toys if you decide to take him home. He is a cutie, and he's just one of several puppies we have today at the shelter. Listen, the puppy breath also overwhelming in a, in a good way here, yeah. all right? So tell me about how, how are things going at the shelter with the puppies now? You've got several of them all at once. Well, yeah, we actually have another litter. Their names all start with the letter P, so if you go to the website, you can check them out. Don't eat my microphone. <laughs> and there's, of course, many adult dogs that are already trained uh, that are looking for forever homes. So if you don't have the time to devote to training a puppy, because I do think this one we can get him to model for us this, a bit. this one will probably be busy and chewing things since he's wanting to chew this blanket already okay. so again lots of proper chew toys we do have puppy parenting classes at the humane society that are open to folks that either adopt from the shelter or if you have a pet from somewhere else wait so what's involved in the puppy parenting classes it's learn it's about socializing your dog around other dogs learning what to expect that's important uh, tips on potty training crate training Again, this little boy is busy. He is going to need a lot of chew toys. I'm telling you, he's, he's gone before he walked through the door. All right? I'm, I'm sitting here fighting the urge to take another one. Um, you also have a cat to talk about, though. We do. We have several felines looking for forever homes this weekend. And one cutie who is adorable with those mesmerizing eyes is five-month-old Loco Coco. Uh, he feel sees free the cat. To, it's a little girl. Red collars are girls. So feel free to change that name. I don't think she's crazy. Uh, but she is, again, one of many kitty cats looking for homes. And I always think the, the little black kitty cats look like little miniature black panthers. So something exotic. Uh. See, and this is just an example with the uh, puppies. Some, of, some, just a little taste of what you got to go through. Yes. Now imagine this is your furniture or your favorite <laughs> pair of shoes, and then amplify that by ten. That, that's why exercise is really important with puppies, young dogs. A tired dog is a good dog. Absolutely. So the other thing I want to talk about is at the shelter. Yeah, well, what can people do who want to help you guys out at the shelter if they can't adopt necessarily? So we have a wish list on Chewy and Amazon, but one thing that we are always in need of is newspapers. We use the newspapers for lining the cat cages and our supply is very low. So if you can donate some newspapers, you can stop off, stop by, drop them off and we would appreciate that. And do you want to uh, remind folks at home where, where you guys are located? Oh, sure, yeah, we're, we're located on Griffin Road. It's 2070 Griffin Road. We're just a block west of I-95. The kennel's open at 11, so if you want to come in, hopefully it's going to be a nice day and people will come in and adopt. It's I a know beautiful facility, too. Yes. So um, what about the, uh, the last couple of dogs that we've had on the show? So we've had some great luck. Muffin, who we brought last week. Muffin uh, was adopted by some local 10 viewers. There they are. Uh, she has a uh, new, she's the newest resident of Margate. And they were just thrilled to take her home. So we're very happy about that. And I want to say, if you've adopted, because you've seen it on Local 10, send me an email with a picture. Hey, we've been, we've been uh, having rapid success stories here. And this is definitely going to be another one. A nice family. The, the nice, nice yard, somebody that can uh, give you a lot of uh, love and attention and energy. All right, we're going to have more on our website as well, local10.com.